people here have. Um, and um, yeah, it's been a, a lot of work up to this performance. Um, so we've just been in here finishing up these rehearsals and making sure all of the little things work up tonight. So it's 6.45, download the round app. Uh, has anyone got any other questions? Hi, Celine. It's good to see you as always. Um, let's have a look down here because you sent some questions in last night. What was my initial reaction to this idea? Um, to be honest with you, it's, it's a very confusing thing. So at first I didn't really understand fully what we had signed up for until I saw the technology working. But it's amazing. I mean, it's not every day you get to control almost like a virtual cartoon version of yourself, which was great. I mean, you know, even down to the suit design, it was a very weird, strange process making the um, figure, which was like faces like this and like this and that trying to, that's going to be a, like a gif before we know it, um, to try and get the thing to move at the same time as me. And um, so it's been... Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, what was the coolest thing about the performance? I don't know. It's just whenever you are controlling anything like this, even though the technology is really expensive and obviously a lot of work, you just want to do stupid things. So there's been a lot of silly dances that have been done by virtual me. Um, I've used him quite a lot, actually. Um, what was the costume for? Obviously, you've probably seen some pictures of this magical costume floating around which has these wonderful uh, dots on. Uh, these are tracking dots, so they'll like stick them in different places, they'll track out my body, and then that way is the way I'll control um, Virtual Me. Virtual Me needs a name. Anyone? Kelvin. Kelvin. Um, <laughs> that was really quick. Um, someone just says, your hair looks really good. I suppose that's more for you, Luke, than it Thank is for you. anybody else. Um, <laughs> Hi, Jeff. How are you? Good to see you. Um, what should we expect from the performance? I mean, it's a world first, so nothing you've ever seen before. I can actually say that today, and it's true. Um, but it's fun, and I think that the song... I'm glad we picked the song that we did. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, so you can, you can hear it later. But it's, um, it fits very well with the, um, with the performance. And then I'm, I'm also performing at the BAFTAs. Um, later today as well, 15 minutes after, so it's going to be a very rushed job uh, to get to and from at 7 o'clock, I believe it is. Thank you, Paul. Um, 7 o'clock. Um, and uh, that's also a really fun and different performance as well, using some of the technology from this into that too. Um, so, yeah. How has your cha relationship with technology changed by working with it? Um, well, I mean, I, I didn't know there was as many pieces for it as I did. Already, once we had done the one performance and kind of got that into a good place and then making the second one for the, the actual BAFTAs as well, um, is crazy because it's just been amazing how versatile it is, being able to use... Uh, and make a really cool effect with it, actually. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I'm excited for you all to see what we've, we've done. How does it feel to be the world's first person doing this? I feel like the man on the moon. <laughs> uh, how does it feel? Um, bloody brilliant. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's, it's different. It's a lot of fun, and, and, and I'm... Uh, it's a bit of a different nervy performance, actually, because I'm hoping it all goes to plan. Um, but I trust the good people here to, to, to make, me, make, me, make me functional. Um, how did you adjust your live performances with huge audiences to online concerts? Uh, I mean, that is a tough one. It's hard without you guys here to be able to give me some of the vibe. Um, which is difficult. We, we, uh, someone said I'm not getting enough sleep. I actually had too much sleep before, to be honest with you, before today. Um, no, I did. I, I, over, I, I definitely overslept. Do you know when you feel like you shouldn't feel? Uh, I, I, I definitely overslept today. Um, oh yeah, big note as well, because I know a lot of people have been asking. 
Um, we're trying to make uh, the Round app, which is what you need to download. I'm going to mention it again. Round app. Go and get it now if you can. Um, available uh, worldwide because I know there's, there's a lot of you that will want to see it outside the UK at the moment as well. Um, so we are that currently working on that at the moment. So you guys are going to get to see it at some point. Um, so stay tuned and look for updates uh, on my page, I suppose, on EE's page as well. Um, but the BAFTAs itself is being broadcast internationally. It's been pinged around the world for your viewing pleasure. Um, so that, that performance is at 7 o'clock. Um, so make sure you uh, check that out. Um, but the pre-performance, 6.45. And let's have a look, see if there's anything here. You're covering your mic. I'm sorry. I do that a lot. Has anyone got that like oddly shaped finger from like over covering their phone mic? Yeah, you've got it too. This is how we're changing as humans. As time goes on. Damn. Yours is really bad. You must use your phone a lot. I think it's from a brush. You've got a habit. It's from a brush. Hairbrush. A brush with what? Hairbrush. A brush with danger. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we digress. 83,000 people watching. It's always nice to be able to come on and talk to you, talk to you all. I'm sorry I've been away for a while. I've been uh, just having a bit of time, actually. And we've been, we've been rehearsing this quite a lot as well. Actually, this has been literally the only thing I've been doing, which is singing the same song many, many times in a strange costume. Um, would you consider making a visual album? I would actually. I saw that um, uh, uh, Callie had done one uh, on iTunes recently, which is quite cool. And they wrote like a whole film to go around the album, which I thought was quite nice. And obviously Beyonce is quite known for doing that. Now I'm not Beyonce by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not even the Bay or the Aunts in Beyonce. <laughs> no, I'm not even the J to her Z. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm a million miles away from that. But I would like to try and make a visual album. I'm not sure whether mine would be like a cartoon or something. Maybe even an NFT, who knows? Um, future collaborations. Um, I'd love to do a collaboration with, you know, Niall and Zane and Harry and Louis. Actually, they're all here behind this curtain. No, they're not really. <laughs> we could have put them in virtually, though. I mean, I probably would have got, like, cease and desist letters from a lot of their managers. Who do you think would have sent the first letter? Who do you reckon? Zane. <laughs> um, can you give us any hints about your new music? Um, new music? Um, we're doing a song for a film at the moment, which kind of came about by surprise. Can't tell you what film. Can't tell you what organisation. I can't tell you anything else about it. But that's all I can tell you. But we have been working on something with some old friends of mine, actually. Um... I can't even tell you about who they are either, but just I know them from a while ago, uh, since I was 17, and they were like the first purple, that, first purple, first people. <laughs> that One Direction worked with, actually. Um, so, yeah. When is LP2 coming? Um, honestly, when I, can, when I can actually get out to Sweden and, and LA and write some music, I hate working. I love Zoom. But I don't like writing on Zoom. Conversations and meetings on Zoom, more there for. Writing on Zoom... That's great. Um, it's hard to, to share vibe, I think, more than anything in a, in a room uh, where, like, they've got the music on and I'm just listening. So, yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to most this year? Some sunshine, to be honest with you. I feel like we've been stuck inside in the cold over here in the, in our, on our lovely island for a long time. I'd like some sun at this point, I think. Um... Let's have another look through your guys, and I'm going to remind you all again why I'm here. So it's the Round app. Um, the Round app, it's a, if you download the app, basically you're going to be able to beam me to wherever you are and watch me on a flat surface. That's true, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so you can, like, watch me in, uh, you know, if you're on the bus... You know, you could watch me if you're, you know, on the roof of your house, in the basement, you know, if you're in the bath, wherever you are. You know, it's just beam me in. It's like Star Trek, but a One Direction version. Um,
Oh, hang on, here's some, some questions. Would you like to be in a sci-fi movie? Yes, funny enough, this is the same similar sort of technology as how, as you know, I'm a bit of a, a Marvel nerd, or any other brand. Um, they, they did Thanos like this, because I saw... Um, oh, what's his name who plays Thanos? He's one of my favourite actors, and I've just completely mind-blanked. He's in Sicario as well, which is another great film. And Sicario too. Anyone? I forgot his name and I love him. He's one of my favorite. Oh, Josh, Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. He's got the best voice ever. Um, but this is ha what he had to wear to be Thanos. So you don't know, you might beam me on tonight and then I could just be Thanos singing my song instead, but it won't be. I'm just kidding. Um, but would I be in a sci-fi film? I think so, but I can't imagine how they like act like as serious as someone like Thanos when it looks like you have snakes for feet. <laughs> you know? Well, um, um, Luke's going to share a picture of what my feet look like. You can imagine two of these, like, together. That looks like a snake size, right? So that's on my feet, which look like snakes, which is what one of my crew said to me on the first day I was wearing it. Your feet look like small snakes. Yeah, pass that here. You'll see what I mean. Here you go. Here's some real behind the scenes. This is hard hitting. See? Tiny snakes. No? <laughs> Nobody else? Maybe it's the way she walks. Someone's written there. A group of wise men once said. Um, when will you be winning an EE e. BAFTA, Liam? Well, EE e. BAFTAs, when will I? I mean, this performance alone has been BAFTA winning. You know, we've had emotion, we've had forgetfulness, we've had tiny snakes. We've had a lot. Oh, my cousin, Ross. <laughs> Hello, Ross, how are you? Hold up, why haven't, haven't we talked about Marvel? I don't know, Ross. Why haven't we talked about Marvel? All I know is that if you tune in later, I mean, I'm in, I am Thanos. I basically run stuff now, or something. Um, someone's just written, at Harry Styles. At Harry Styles. Like and follow for more. Um, what am I looking for here? I think that's everything, isn't it? Future collaborations. I, well, actually, I'm going to be collaborating with myself tonight. Figure that out. You can't. You'll have to tune in at 7 o'clock and 6.45. The round up. Will it affect my voice? No, it won't affect my voice. Um, and this, the reason this is a world first is obviously this, this technology has been used before, before first, but it's not been used live. I think it's like a couple of seconds worth of delay, isn't it, right? It's like we're talking milliseconds. We're talking like as it's happening. Real time, faster than the speed of sound. It's quicker than real time. It's actually the future. It's like a future telling app. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really hope you guys can uh, can tune in today. Are you okay and happy? I am uh, extremely happy. I'm extremely okay. Um, tiny snakes. Hashtag tiny snakes. Let's see if we can get that trending. That's quite fun. Just to see what people think about it. And uh, Luke's desperate for me to.